I've basically come out today just to capture some photos and uh, it's a miserable day. Absolutely miserable day. But the worst part about it is I'm, I'm not inspired at all. There is nothing, there's just trees and fields and stuff. And I mean, every photographer has got like an entire portfolio full of artsy tree shots. There's only, only so many black and white trunks you can take pictures of, so. We'll see what we can uh, see what we can find. By the way, I'm shooting on the EOS R. It's a good camera. Okay, so here we are. Um, we've been out taking photos. There was really not a lot there, like in terms of like what I could capture. The ground was just flat and there was trees. You know, there was some, a few nice photos, but I didn't really go out there to take pictures of trees, you know? Um, although I did take a picture of one tree. <laughs> it was quite interesting. I was just wandering around looking for stuff to take pictures of. And I saw this lone tree standing there in the middle of this forest with a stool just placed at the trunk. Um, this was in the middle of nowhere as well, miles from anyone. It was like an old cast iron stool. So I found that just quite interesting. Um, so that that's the only, that's the only one. I swear, that's the only one. Um, so what I was really trying to do was kind of find interesting things that I could frame uh, in a different way, like using maybe branches and stuff like that to create a frame into the uh, into the picture, I suppose you could say. So, yeah, and towards the subject, I wanted to frame towards the subject. That's what I was trying to say. I'm still not used to talking to a lens, so bear with me. I feel like I'm getting better, a little bit more confident, but it's still, it's going to take a while. This is video two, okay, so... Bear with me. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drag this stuff into Lightroom. Um, I probably got maybe three photographs that I was happy with. So yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. So, okay, here we are in Lightroom. Uh, here are a couple of the pictures that I caught today and that I wanted to kind of talk about a little bit. As you can see, I've already edited them. Um, I've already done some like post-processing work on this um so let's just talk about this a second so like i say there was nothing really out there um if you recall from the start of the video just that long path with me walking uh there were a couple of like lovely trees and things like that but other than that not a lot there to take pictures of so i was there for maybe oh god i don't know two or three hours um and i captured probably about three pictures that i'm that i'm happy to to share that I'm happy with in general, free photographs. Um, so that's the thing, you shouldn't just take pictures of just everything, just because you're out snapping photos. There really isn't any need to just keep clicking away. Um, take your time, look for the shot, and when you get it, you'll, you'll be happy with it. You'll know when you get it as well. So this one spoke to me a little bit because out of all Every picture I, I, I took, I wanted this to have a subject in it. Everything else was quite isolated and alone. And I didn't really go out there to take landscape photos. But, you know, there we go. That's all that was really there at the end of it. It wasn't a very interesting place. And then I see this horse, just this lone horse. The whole entire place seemed quite isolated to me. So, um, I made sure to frame it. If you look here, we have a couple of, couple of pictures I got before couple of attempts at capturing this guy um but i landed on this one and i like this one because of it was basically 50 50 look at it, all this empty space in the sky i i really like that um so then i isolated it even more put him into the center of the frame um and we've just got this nice ratio here uh the, the kind of the more sky in the shot for me and the smaller the, the subject is it just screams isolation. So I really enjoyed that. I really liked that. Here, this was like the original. Yeah, just nothing to really look at. Quite barren, quite boring. Um, not much around. A lot of dead leaves and things like that this time of year here in the UK. 
So what I did, um, I repositioned, put myself a little bit more central here. And then if we have a look here at the kind of stuff I did, I played around with the clarity, things like that, but the color, I really bumped the vibrance, the saturation, the blues. I pulled down some highlights as well. Um, if you can see, we just get mainly overcast skies over here in the UK, so that kind of sucked. So, um, and I didn't bring an ND filter with me either, so I really struggled. Stupid move. Always make sure you've got your fillers and so just double check that camera bag, basically. Anyway. Um, but yeah, really up the vibrance because although the, at first glance, you know, there's not a lot going on here. This, this is great. I really like it. All the, all the colors. We've got our oranges, our greens, and our blues there. So nice, nice tones. And then we've got the leading lines as well in terms of composition. So that, I'm really happy with that. That one came out really well. I nearly got stuck in here, standing here. Take a good pair of boots with you when you do some photography. Um... This was crazy, but I mean, just look at the finished result when I took all these colors and I bumped up all this vibrance and stuff. Maybe looking at that, actually, let's bring down a, hmm, let's bring down a clarity, maybe just a tad. Pull it down even less, actually. We want the, we want the colors to be the subject there. There we go, that's better. Look at that. Look at those colors, just that lovely, um, just natural fall. That's nature right there. Like I've done nothing to that. That's stunning. Well, I think that's going to conclude the video, guys. Um, but thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you coming by and stopping, checking out these videos that I'm that I'm doing. Uh, if you want to help my kind of channel grow, um, go ahead, hit subscribe. That'd be great. If you liked the video, don't forget to click like. Um, yeah, and, and comment down below. Sort of uh, let me know what you think of these pictures. You know, what could I have done better? Uh, maybe you've got some examples you want to show me. Go ahead, drop a link to some of your work. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.